Hey everyone, it's John Isaiah from the Automator, and this morning, I you know, on my start menu, I have a, I use kind of like the quick launch toolbars, right? I have several ones, some are for launching programs, some are for folders that I want to always have access to, and because I have mine under Dropbox, they get out of sync as far as where they're located and stuff, and it's very confusing, and I've tried to programmatically save the location so I can just hit a button or have it always, you know, reload it for me. And this is for years, I've, this has been annoying. And I finally said, you know what? I have Isaiah, you know, who knows everything. So yeah. <laughs> I'm like, let me ask him if he, you know, can figure out how do we do this? And then that was where he's like, hey, he was just yeah, showing well, me some of the tools. So I right. said, let's, let's record it because, you know, maybe others have this feeling or, or issue. Yeah. And the type of information that I'm going to show is in general. And there is a, a little suite of tools that is from Microsoft that is called uh, Sys Internal Suite. It is very old and I, and I use it for certain things. And as soon as that question comes up, like, okay, is there a registry key that gets modified? And, and maybe that's the, when, when you frame the question, that's what I understood. Like, is there somewhere that this gets saved? I figured it must be in the registry. Right. It, it has to be somewhere. And basically, as soon as you said, like, is there somewhere that must be, might be saved? I thought, like, Maybe in the registry, let me use this tool. So what I want to do is show you the tool uh, in, because it's good information to have, even if it doesn't answer the question, but at least we could always check this at first. So the first thing is I do have this folder here, this internal suit. You can download it. Is is uh, Well, they, they can get it right here at this link below me. Isaiah. Yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> so in general, this uh, suite is from Microsoft and you do not have to install anything. Those are standalone programs. You can just stay with one of them, debuggers and many other tools. Now, one of them uh, that I use very often is Process Explorer, which is kind of like a task manager. And I actually, actually replace my task manager to have that one. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when I told you, I said, I have a hotkey that actually launches that it. That actually launches it. Yeah. No, I, and the tool itself has a button that says replace task, task manager. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But right next to it, you will see one that says process monitor. Now, this little tool is really interesting because, and you will see here at the bottom, you notice the amount of events that it's recording. So it, it records a lot of events. And what it does is that every single program even if it writes, it, it writes to a registry location or performs some special tasks like TCP. Let me see something. I think you can check if they do TCP inform. Here, here we go. Like sending information via UDP or TCP, you can tell what it's doing. So basically, if I'm not sure how a program is behaving, I could just filter by the name of that program and see exactly what it's doing. If it is modifying my registry, if it is saving files, look at that. I could see creating files somewhere. So I would very quickly know what is going on with a specific program. But I'm going to use this the other way around. I don't know what is being saved. So let's go ahead. Now, what, the first what program thing, is doing this. We don't know, right? We have no idea. Or maybe right exactly. So I have no clue who is doing it or what is doing. So what I'm going to do first is just clear everything. And in here, I just click. Wow. On. You, sorry, but you know what? That trash button is not something I would think that. <laughs> that's <laughs> exactly. So basically, <laughs> one of the things, and this is the reason why your programs should at least try to conform to kind of like the expectation of people is because trash doesn't really mean like clear the list. No, that's not <laughs> Usually, <all>. Yeah. So, <laughs> but in general, what I did is that I just put my mouse over it and at least it has a tooltip and it tells you what it does. So I know that, and it tells me the hotkey as well. So at least I know what it meant. Which, which are all these little things are really good tips if you're writing your own scripts and stuff, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And they, they, yeah. So in this case, what I do is the following. Uh, this here allows me to start capturing or stop capturing, which is like with many, you know, Fiddler does that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start capturing, perform the action that I'm looking for, and then start to verify what is going on. So I start, move some icons around. Let me see if I do. Yeah, I, I think I have enough 
Now I would use the find tool here and look for tray and see if anything shows up with the tray information. Now here we got something and look at that. It says tray notify. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and filter now where it says path. So I'm going to use the path as the filter contains and let's use that what I see here, tray notify. So right now I'm just filtering by that. And now I will be able to just focus on what is going on with the tray notify. Just to clarify, mine's not the system tray. Is that what you were, because I don't see a toolbar. Okay. It, it doesn't matter what it is. If it uses the word tray, I will be able to find it. Or if not, when I go ahead and move it, I will see what is going on. Because again, I, I'm ju I just use the word tray here as an yeah, example. But uh, do you know the name of the program that so that's why I said is it's it's a toolbar. Right. So in the, the task in the taskbar, right? I, I have a toolbar. Okay, so you bar. mean like toolbar here and right. you have kind of like a new toolbar yeah. Yeah. and it is for a folder, whatever folder that is, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So one I keep go. for my programs and one I keep for my folders. Like this, right? Right. Right. Okay, that's so just want to clarify because yeah. Now, yeah, it's okay. Let's go ahead and see what happens because, again, and that's the point, even though you do not get the answer to the question with this, you at least can try to start looking somewhere. Now, just to finish off my, my thought here, sure. for, yes. the, for the tray icons, if it is a, a location like this, you will notice that there is some things that get modified. And I would say, like, at least icon streams here might look like the one that contains the order of these icons down here. That's what it is. So now if it is a, a, a toolbar in here and what you do is just move somewhere like the location, you change it and you want to save that, then let's go ahead and perform the same actions. Let's go ahead and do this, the following. Let's go ahead and remove that. Uh, let's delete this whole thing. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And Let's start capturing, move something up. And I think that should be enough for me to uh, stop capturing and let's see what we can get. So we have some, I don't think it should be any, oh, so Explorer here. Let's go ahead and start with Explorer because that has to do with the Explorer and the tray, for example. So let's start with tray again. I do not see anything with Trey. How about Explorer? What do we have for Explorer? Right click on it and include this process name. Where is, I thought that it would add it to the, it would highlight them, I know that. And include this filter, explorer.exe, oh, there we go. So everything that has to do with the explorer. So around here, there might be something, and this is where I would start looking for, what might have a little bit of information regarding that. Automatic destinations here, that is, Interesting. Yeah, that was the folder the other day. I don't think that we were talking about. Yeah, so we were talking about the automatic destinations. Yeah. And I'm not really sure. You remember that the automatic destinations is this here on the left, right? Yeah, right. But it might also refer to these guys here. So, you know, now I found something interesting. Okay. Now it says name not found. So it was looking for something and it didn't find it. What I'm but curious though is, didn't didn't you tell me the other day that you were still having some problems with what was being shown in there? Yes, and in the end, I just went ahead and deleted the file and it started working. So I was able to fix it somehow. I was just wondering with that something that said that like not able to be found. I was just curious if that was still if that might be that. But let's see. It says seven B four. So let's try seven. 
Yeah, so exactly as we were expecting, seven before is not there. But it makes a little bit of sense that maybe one of these files contains the information for this. It might be, right? Right. Now, let me see something I was else. expecting something very cryptic like that. You know, it's not, not something very clear. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's something. But in general, as you can tell, these type of tools, and this is what I would do as a research, like I would try to get a little bit here. Look at this. Hold on, close. OneDrive, Auto Hotkey Live. Why? What was this creating? Because I haven't created anything about it right now, right? Sure. Right. Yeah. So I didn't do anything about creating anything. It just read data from the directory. You had a script running, and it and it. Well, it, it is the Explorer app itself, so, and it actually queried information about that. Now, the question is, did it query? So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's. Oh, wait a minute. I the, could, I could, I could include the folder, those, hold on, those kind Isaiah, of things. The folder that you added to the toolbar? Yes. Is that one of the folders that's in there? It is one. It is one of them. So, you see that? So, so. It might be. It, it's creating a shortcut to that folder, right? So maybe it, it did something. Maybe. With it. So what I'm going to do is the following. Let's go ahead and um, I know that it's the Explorer. At least I think it is. That's uh -huh. where I'm going with it. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go ahead, clear everything out, and now create some filters for it. So let's go ahead and remove the filters that I don't care about, and I'm gonna stay with the process explorer. So I'm gonna be actually kind of like watching the explorer only. Let's go ahead and delete this again. This this is the toolbar. Um, so it is not there. Right. Now that I know that it's that, let's start capturing and let's see, whoa, wow. <laughs> explorer key makes a lot of things, you know, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. like. Uh, we, we, we just, let me see if I could remove the highlight. Well, I'll do it later. But let's go ahead and create a toolbar, select that, and something must have happened here, right? So something must have happened with the name Auto Hotkey on it. So let me stop capturing, search for Auto Hotkey. Something must have happened with that. Whoa, in just that little time, look at that 500,000 events. It's insane. You know, you have no idea how much your computer works. <laughs> so, so true. So true. But in general, again, I see the automatic destination thing here. The only thing that I do not like, and I don't use it that often because of that, is the search function. For some reason, it's really slow. Well, it, you just said, though, how many events did it have to go over, right? I mean, yes, yeah, 500,000, but I'm not really sure. When I do... A, yeah, a search, when I do a search, what I do is that my list view, whenever I have it, I just remove the ones that don't match what I'm looking for. And that is usually faster. Like I, I just go one by one. If it, if it doesn't match what I have, it just removes it. But the way how this thing is actually searching, for me, it looks like it is really slow. I, it is more than what I would expect. Well, I, I would also ask, what fields or columns is it actually searching? That's a good question. Probably it is. Them. Yeah, I think it is searching the whole thing. Yeah. And so and, and right. there, there could be a couple dozen we don't even see, you know. I mean, right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> oh, that's true. That, that's, I would say, very likely with this type of programs, it is like that. Oh, here we go. Finally, it tells me that it created a file. That makes absolutely no sense for me at 8.42. So we are at 8.43. So one minute ago, it created a file. Folder, didn't it? Supposedly, but with... So let me see, where did it create the file? Because where... created the file. No, here, the position is open. So it opened the file, by the way, not, not create it, but that's the action yeah, itself. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it is creating those kind of things, but 
after that is opening some keys. What else? What else? Explore root sync root manager. Okay. I don't think that has anything to do with it. A bunch of icon process handler. Yeah, it's a shame. And it's again, so now, now, yeah, it, it, there's a lot going on. So what I could do again is try to filter. So I would use path here. So path contains auto hotkey. That way I don't have to scroll through a lot of shit. So here we go. Uh, um, we do have, again, it says like, okay, so it says read attributes. So all of them, it is just reading, synchronizing stuff, and then query name information, file system control. And look at that, it goes for each of the files. So this is this is really what I'm looking for. So it is reading everything. And then, hold on, cancel. I don't know, this is something else. This is something else. And yeah, it is looping through all the folders. I am looking at that. So that makes sense to me. We're getting close to it. What my question is, what do you do with that information, right? So again, going through all the folders and then it, here, it creates a file that is in recent. It is a, a link here, which is, I think is the one that this is using. So let's go ahead and go there. Yeah, it's shortcuts. Those are it is shortcuts. a shortcut, yeah. but it, it, it looks like it is just creating Doesn't make much sense to me though. Yeah, but it's it, creating it, that that one that one link. Yeah, but but the goal at least I mean I know we're still this is an investigation type thing, right? Right. But what we looked at is the creating of it. You know what right. I'm worried about is the sorting of it. Right. No, but at least and that's the point. Like after I know where is created or where is handled, maybe we could go ahead and copy that real quick and see. Um, what is going on? So now here, I know that here, auto hotkey, we have a folder here. Now, what happens if I delete that? Do we have something that doesn't look like it? So even though we're close to more or less what is going on, I, that still doesn't answer the question. Mm -hmm. But I think what we were going to do, we're going to leave the video up to here. The, the idea is when you are looking for how something works, this is a very interesting tool to go ahead and take a look at uh, how it goes. But right now in this particular instance, I would have to dig a little bit deeper and verify, yeah, where exactly it, I know that it's reading the whole thing. Like I can tell that it is reading every single folder in there. Now my question is what it is what is it, it doing with that information and where is it saving it? And I will verify more or less where, you know, what to do with that information when, when I go ahead and research a little bit deeper into it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, get it. I know it's <laughs> we just jumped on to say, hey, here's this tool, which is a, a cool tool. Like I said, that I'll have the link right below me here. And uh, we can you can grab it, and it's it comes with a bunch of them, if I remember right, right that whole system. Yes, of course. Yeah. So there's a bunch of tools that you could use for different things, and this one just happens to be one that allows you to lock onto a on, onto a process and say what is it doing, like what is the thing that it's doing, and yeah, that would allow you to at least have an idea of what is going on. Awesome. Thanks, man. Bye. Okay. Bye.